Well, well, well. Here we are at the top of FC Nordsjælland. If you're following, or if you have been following my work for the past 10 months, I have been working with FC Nordsjælland and we made six incredible videos with Sepp and his team at FCN. In all of those videos, I've been doing some behind the scenes and I want to show you a montage of it today. The first one started out with this one. The whole videos we're gonna do with them are gonna use this. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Rock, rock. Doing small magic tricks with fast editing and masking, this was the kind of vibe I wanted to bring. For the second video, what we were trying to do can't see anything here. Uh, for the second video, what we were trying to do was we wanted to surprise some of the fans with some of the players. <coughs> what we then did was we took the former goalkeeper of FC Nordsjælland, Alex, and then we drove all the way with him to surprise one of the fans. The whole video is linked in the description and I wanted you guys to see it because we're going to talk more about them later. What I want to focus on now is this guy. We've been sitting like this for <laughs> 10 minutes. Uh. Okay, we need to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> again? <laughs> oh my god. Jonas. What? Ah, uh, okay. What we did for the third video was I was supposed to be in here and go to work. So in order to have DHL involved, because they're one of FC Nordsjælland's biggest sponsors, I was trying to think of, of a idea to get me to the game as quickly as possible. So I wanted to open this package. Here's the shirt that I wore for work. And then through this green screen, I dragged myself into the video. If you guys know about After Effects, because I didn't knew back then, it was, it was my first time. This is a shitty green screen. And it turned out so many problems and this project took way too long. But I wanted to do this thing because I wanted to look freaking cool. This is what we did. I'm gonna get dragged into a box and then my brother's gonna pull me in. It's gonna be like... It's gonna be freaking sweet. Watch this. We just woke up last night. We were editing to 4 a.m. in the morning because this video has to get out there. Max helped me out so much and now I'm gonna pick the footage up. He made it in After Effects. I'm gonna see how it looks and we're gonna edit it. And the video has to go out today. I'm so tired, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Game, ah, nice. Also, play a bit of the <laughs> Mr. Magic. Fit. Also, the from Gears Maga, right? Yeah. For the fourth video, we wanted to put on a halftime show that the people here have never seen before. So what we came up with was insane. We brought out Philip May, Timba, a golf wagon, and this beast. So imagine this right here will be filled with Timba. The other guys are gonna be t-shirts and they're gonna drive all the way out here while this stadium will be full of fans everywhere. And then I mentioned <laughs> Today it's so loud. There's 10,000 seats here and it hasn't been so loud in three fucking years. I'm pretty nervous. I've come to here, I mean, come on, come on, I teach you. Step. This is what we've been waiting for, man. It's, it's for good. fucking it's two, good. three fucking months. Like, now it's happening. Yeah, I feel like Daniel? Yeah, ha, ing. Absolute ing day. I'm soaked. Guys, got third place and they're going to get the medals now. This is my only opportunity to ever be in the middle of this field with this many people. I'm just gonna pretend they're screaming my name. Nah, man. This is it from FC Nordsjælland. Jones, out. 
I've done quite a lot of lookbooks now here on YouTube. So when we had to do the fifth video that was supposed to be the last one, the guys needed a lookbook or a revealing video for the new starter kit where they were representing these shirts and mixed it in between where I had this clear vision of I wanted to zoom in and then back out again doing different effects and doing different clips from players, fans, etc. And it turned out so cool. Two, three, yeah. Sick. We just want to film, you know, just be casual. And then what are these guys doing? Look, what the fuck? <laughs> Fifth video, we're done. Wonder what they're going to do with the Jonas legacy. Like, I'm going to do more as in Oshilan. I don't know. I just know that I helped them step up the game. that we're filming, Alex. This is the Jean Stadium. And this is me wearing my first, first press conference shirt. Currently we're in Dijon right now. We're going to film Alex. This is the last party I'm doing with FC Nordsjælland. We got Morten here. We got Olivia here, her father, Sepp, everyone. Empty stadiums, nobody else there. Alex is about to approach Olivia. They're gonna be right here. This is the once in a lifetime opportunity for her to meet her again, I guess. So this moment is not faked at all. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm so excited about this one. This is where the moments you can't fake, man. I can't. She comes right there. Shit. Hi, Olivia. How are you? Yeah. Can you come? Let's go and sit. I wanted to share this experience with you guys because the work that I've done with FC Nordsjælland has been some of the most exciting things that I've been doing ever since I got back home from my journey. And the number one thing they gave me in terms of us working together was creative freedom. I value that one thing so, so much. And that is definitely something that I could recommend for anybody else who has gotten to work with different clients, creative freedom. I'm gonna sit down here and then until next time, Jones out. There's immigrants on the roof. Police! Police! Get them down! <laughs> hey. Yeah, the immigrants are here. It stinks like an old man's asshole. <laughs>